this is M. Ramos bringing you another insightful reflection for our weekly M's video diary. So for this week, I want to share with you my learnings on the power of taking action. So as I look back on the things that happened in the past week, I am reminded with, and I hope you also remember, Newton's Law of Motion, which says that an object that's an object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon an external force. And the same with an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon an inter external force. And thinking about this, I think that it also perfectly applies in the context of you know, chasing or doing something to reach your goals, your dreams, whether that's something in the long term or a short term, a side project, anything that you want to accomplish, you actually have to do something about it. And right now, with a lot of resources available to us, there's a lot of online courses that we can take, a lot of communities that we can join, there's just basically a lot of things that we can consume for us to learn the things that we want that we think will prepare us to, let's say, start our business or to write the book that we want or anything that we want to do. We always want to be prepared first by consuming all these materials available. And well, of course, that's also important to learn. But what's more important is to actually take action. Because sometimes we get in we get stuck in just consuming and consuming and consuming, but we still stay stagnant. We still remain where we are because we're not taking action. And I think I can testify to that because around last year I took a pause, I I stopped working, I dropped my projects, but when I decided that it's time for me to be back, to, to get back to the grind, you know, to start again and to, to recover what I let go in terms of my, in terms of pursuing my career, what I did is to just take an action. I wasn't 100% ready at that time. I wasn't perfectly feeling that I'm already at the top of my energy again. But I just took a leap. I started with small things like outlining what, what you actually want to achieve, reassessing your goals, and then actually doing it. And now, three months down the road, um, I was already able to double what I was earning at the time when I stopped working. Three months ago, I only had one project and I was just earning just enough in fact it wasn't really enough <laughs> for my monthly expenses but from that time from that point three months ago and now we i'm already uh handling three projects and additional one will be onboarded next week and i'm also already able to double our MRR basically you know it's just a short anecdote and i won't have the entire the, the whole day to explain how the pro how I went through with the process but I think the very important thing that I did there is to just start so now what I want to challenge you with after watching this video is to take a pause maybe bring your journal with you review all the things that you have planned that you said you would do but hasn't done yet doesn't matter if you think you're 100% ready to start with it, but start. And I tell you, once you hit that start button, it will continue rolling. You can start with the smallest, easiest thing to cross out on that list, but just start. Because once you get into the habit of, of, of working on it, it will just be very natural with you. And soon enough, you will feel and see the fruit of your labor. So that's it for our weekly video diary. I hope you learned anything. And if you feel like you resonated with 
what I shared with you, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below and let us create a healthy discussion. Thank you!